students in this lecture we will discuss about the uh, third part of nitrogen fixation that is the mechanism of nitrogen fixation and role of nitrogen enzyme in nitrogen fixation With the help of this figure we can understand about the mechanism of nitrogen fixation in the uh, this uh, actually this is the electron transfer in the nitrogenase enzyme so this is the mechanism of nitro electron transfer from peridoxin to the femo factor and after the transfer of electron from fe protein to femo cofactor the, the reduction of nitrogen takes place in femo cofactor so uh, we have already studied about the nitrogenase structure so this is the nitrogenase enzyme again this is the part of fe protein and this is femo protein again this has two subunits one is beta one is alpha it has two parts one is p cluster and other is femo cofactor and fe protein has one part that is fe cluster so you can find that this p cluster is in between this fes cluster and femo cofactor so how the mechanism of electron transfer takes place so this is the structure of femo fe protein this is fe protein and this is oxidized okay so this is fe protein which is oxidized after accepting electron from peridoxin that electron come from the photosynthetic process or oxidative process this oxidized fe protein it reduced so i have shown with the help of this green uh, triangle and here this oxidized form is shown by the red triangle so this is occurring in the fe protein during this electron transfer one electron transfer to atp will convert into two adp okay now this is the structure of FEMO protein or uh, as you can say FMO FE protein. So this is FEMO protein and these are the two subunits of FEMO protein. Likewise I have shown you the two subunits of this FE protein and these are the two subunits of FEMO protein. Uh, this is a beta unit and this is alpha unit and this blue part is p cluster okay and this uh, uh, this purple part or pink part is femo cofactor so this is the femo protein so when this fe protein get reduced it has some conformational changes and due to these conformational changes it comes near to the p cluster of femo protein and thus it can easily uh, release it it can transfer its electron to the p cluster so now here you can see this femo protein is binded to the reduced femo protein okay now this reduced form can transfer its electron to this femo protein and during this transfer again atp will convert into adp and then it will again oxidized so uh, you can see green will convert into red so it is again oxidized okay and then after oxidation it will detach again and this FEMO protein will again uh, the release so this cycle will go on so this is the cycle uh, it is showing how the electron transfer takes place from FE protein to MOFE protein so this transfer takes place and uh, during this transfer uh, hydrolysis of ATP takes place that ferritoxin or flavodoxin from photosynthetic pathway they carry the electrons to the fe protein and from fe protein the electrons
electron will transfer to FeMO protein. So this is the electron transfer pathway. And during this electron transfer pathway, reduction occurs at MO site. Okay, reduction of which? Reduction of N2 to NH3. And it will consume 8 electrons and 16 ATP and one mole of hydrogen will also evolve and during this reduction 2 MO third will convert the oxidized to MO6 okay thus six electrons are required for reduction of one mole of N2 okay so this uh, during this reduction MO will also oxidize and during this electron transfer, ATP will hydrolyze uh, so that electron can transfer easily. So this is the way of electron transfer from ferrodoxins to Fe protein, then Fe protein to FeMO protein. Figure shows the complete pathway of nitrogen reduction. So again, you can see this ferridoxin reduced form it oxidized and it transfers two electron to this Fe protein that is oxidized. So this oxidized protein then transfer two electrons to this FeMO oxidized protein and it can uh, that reduced to reduced uh, Fe protein. This oxidized protein then it can give two electrons to the nitrogen okay so femo protein contains it binds the nitrogen and it gives two electrons to the nitrogen and then this nitrogen will converts into diimide then this diimide it uh, transfers two electron uh, and then converts into it accepts two electrons and it converts into hydrogen and then this hydrogen by accepting two electrons it reduced to ammonia so this is the complete cycle of nitrogen fixation uh, in the previous slides i have shown only about the electron transfer but this is the complete cycle of electron transfer as well as the uh, the nitrogen fixation the energy diagram that shows how much activation energy the the conversion of N2 to NH3 has. So you will find this the activation energy is very high. So the chemical processes or the industrial processes they require a lot of energy in the form of temperature and atmospheric pressure so that N2 can reduce to, to the NH3. So that's why we can say that nitrogenase need ATP. So it need ATP. Why? Because the energy barrier between the N2 and NH3 is very high because N and N has a triple bond that requires a lot of energy to break. So this nitrogenase simply Okay, so this is uh, uh, a biological uh, weapon. Weapon, we, can, we cannot say the weapon. This is a device that can convert the nitrogen into ammonia that is the easily available form by consuming 16 ATP per molecule of nitrogen to convert it into two molecules of ammonia. So what a... Mm, that is uh, nitrogen is, is a very efficient uh, part of enzyme part of the biological system that is very mm, energetically uh, saving material okay so this can save the energy uh, and easily convert the nitrogen present in the soil into the easily available forms are some factors which affects the nitrogenous activity and those factors includes the oxygen temperature and ph and soil moisture 
so the oxygen oxygen we have already studied that the nitrogenous enzyme is prone towards oxygen so this nitrogen is it irreversibly damage fe protein more as compared to FOFE protein so we have to protect or the nature has to protect the nitrogenase from oxygen so there are certain mechanisms to protect the oxygen we have studied in the previous videos also the oxygen after uh, that uh, uh, the oxy there is protection uh, mechanism is the conformational protection so in this case the nitrogenase changes its confirmation but during these conformational changes nitrogenase will unable to fix the nitrogen okay so the other mechanism is high respiratory activity and that is shown by the heterotrophic bacteria they consume oxygen during the respiration process so that they provide the oxygen free environment to the nitrogenase the other mechanism is for autotrophs like cyanobacteria and that is heterocyst and the fourth one is the uh, the leg hemoglobin that is present in the nodules that uptake the oxygen that binds the oxygen and give the carry the oxygen to the bacteroids so that it also provides the uh, oxygen free environment to the nitrogenous enzyme now the temperature and pH so uh, the, for aspir uh, spirillum it was studied that the optimum pH uh, for nitrogen fixation is 6.8 to 7.8 and the optimum temperature is 32 to 40 degrees centigrade temperature then soil moisture it was also reported that uh, at in high in wet areas the high nitrogenous activity was there so uh, these three factors mainly affects the nitrogenous activity now we can conclude uh, the lecture and in this lecture we have studied about the biological nitrogen fixation and then we have studied about the nitrogenase uh, uh, how the electron transfer takes place in the nitrogenase from peridoxin to fe protein and from fe protein to mofe cofactor and at that cofactor the nitrogen fixation takes place in several steps in which eight electrons 16 atp are consumed and one mole of hydrogen is produced along with 16 atp 16 inorganic phosphate and two moles of ammonia and we have also studied about the factors that affect the nitrogenous activity the factors are oxygen temperature and pH and soil moisture so there are several mechanisms to protect the nitrogenous enzyme from oxygen and they are the basis of the classification of nitrogen fixers Uh, this is all about uh, the nitrogen fixation and uh, the, the mechanism of nitrogen fixation. Thank you very much.